What's up you guys? Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Euro nymphing leaders and help explain a little bit more about them. So I thought I would just take a little bit of time to kind of go through Euro nymphing leaders, kind of talk through some of the options out there, as well as kind of talking to you guys about what I have used in the past, the reasons for using those, and then later in the video, I'll walk you through what I'm currently doing for my current setup and kind of show you how I set all that up. Okay, this was the leader that got it all started for me, and that is the Rio Euro Nymphine leader. When I first started out, I tried to tie my own leaders and I would just use whatever I had laying around. It was different sections of leader. There was no real standard out there. It was kind of the wild, wild west, and I was using, I was using backing for the cider and it was a mess, it was not good. And then along came this Rio all-in-one leader and it was great. I used it for a really long time. Some of the things that are good about this leader, you know, uh, there are some, you know, I think that the, the cons outweigh the pro on this leader, but it's a good place to start. It's thick, so it's easy to see. The diameter of the leader is pretty thick and it's based, the whole, almost the entire thing is white. Um, or opaque so that you can see it really easy. Uh, it has a loop on the end, which so if you have a loop on your line, it makes it really easy to attach that to your fly line. You can buy a bunch of these. You can just go to your fly shop. They're pre-made, right? So you can just go and buy a bunch and you don't have to worry about tying them yourself and it's quick and easy, right? And it has a nice thick taper to it so that it'll turn over a fly really well for you. And you know, when you're starting out, that can help. But for me, after a while, the the pros of this leader were outweighed by the cons of this leader. So like I said earlier, that thickness that helps you turn it over also keeps you from fishing at a further distance because it creates sag in your line. So when you're holding that rod up, the, there's, a, there's a sag that comes down to your flies. So you can't fish as uh, as far away from your body as you might want. That loop that makes it easy to connect to your fly line also doesn't go through your guides very well and it makes it harder to cast, right? Uh, it has a really big tippet ring. These things have like a four millimeter tippet ring on it. That's adding extra weight to your line. You're having to fish heavier flies to counter the heavier weight of the leader, which can be a disadvantage at times. So, you know, that those were the cons of this and that's why I moved on from it and from this I went to George Daniel leader the George Daniel leader is basically taking a 9 foot 4x leader and cutting back three feet off of it and then tying sections um, two to three foot sections of cider material from that tapered leader to a tippet ring right and so the advantages of this one compared to the Rio one, when I went from Rio to the, the tapered George Daniel version, is that I was able to use a little bit thinner diameter. So I wasn't using this really thick 2X to 3X version, right? Or 0X to 2X. This was a, a, a thinner diameter, right? It allowed me to fish a little bit smaller. I used a smaller two millimeter tippet ring to the end of my cider material. But some of the disadvantages were the same as the Rio, right? It still had that loop at the end. It had, it was still creating sag. It was still harder to fish at distance. So it had a few advantages, which was the thinner diameter that helped me fish a little bit further, but it still had those limitations of that loop. And the, you know, this one has, the way it's built with those sections is that you leave the, the tag so it's easier to, to, to detect strikes, right? And, but those also, create wind drag and weight in the leader. After I played with it around with that for a few months, I moved on to what I would consider the best all around leader for a beginner, which is the Modern Nymphine DVD series by Lance Egan and Devin Olson. They have a leader formula in there and that was the one that I moved to next and I think that that's the best kind of beginner Euro leader out there. And so I moved on to this leader right here which is a hand tied leader and it is comprised of uh, three and a half foot sections of 20 pound, 15 pound and 12 pound maxima to make up the taper. And this version right here is 15, 12, 10 which is a little bit lighter, and that was kind of the one that I used for a long time. You'll see that I still have a, a loop on there, and it's still loop-to-loop -loop connection, 
The advantages to this compared to the nine foot tapered leader was again, thinner diameter. And this was kind of the one that I stuck with for quite a while. And you know, I got past that limitation of the loop to loop connection by um, doing a super glue splice. But to me, the super glue splice went through the guides really well, but it wasn't that reliable and it was also very hard to get set up. So this was kind of the one that I moved on to and I stair stepped my way down. So if you're a beginner, I would say you try this in the in the 15, 12, 10 kind of makeup, right? 15 pound to 12 pound to 10 pound to cider to the tippet ring and then stair step your way down. So that's what I did. Then I went to 12, 10, 8 and then to what I'm at now, right? And what I'm at now is different than this and I will show you guys the setup that I'm currently using in just a minute. Okay, so I just wanted to take a second to say if you're enjoying these videos, please think about hitting that subscribe button down below. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Let's get back to it. Okay, so I wanna to talk to you guys about the leaders that I'm currently using, okay? I'm using two micro euro leaders. One is just for straight nymphing when I know I'm not gonna be throwing a dry fly, and that is level line. It's 13 to 14 feet of 4X cider material, that's all it is, to a tippet ring and then the tippet. One piece of level line, that's all I'm using goes through the guides really well. That whole long piece of cider material helps me see it a little bit better when it's that really ultra thin diameter. And it's really quick to change out. If I break this thing, I can just run off a whole nother piece and I'm back in the game and I don't have to worry about that. So it's really fast and easy to use. The other one that I use is for a dry dropper, right? And I will throw a dry dropper on my Euro rig a lot. So I carry two reels with me and I know that's a lot to manage, but I haven't found a better solution than that. And that one is all clear leader material, no cider built in. It's 20 inches of eight pound maxima to the fly line, and then it's five feet of three X, and then seven feet of four X to the tippet ring. And that's all it is. And don't worry about the details now, we're gonna tie that in just a second and show you what it's all about. But that is the one that I use for dry dropper or on ultra clear water, where I don't wanna spook the fish with a big piece of cider material that they might see. And on that leader, uh, if I'm throwing dry dropper, I don't add anything to the line. And if I'm gonna switch over to nymph, say I still have that leader on and I don't wanna switch reels, I can just use some cider wax that I carry and I'll just paint the line and then I can nymph and then I can wipe that off and I can go back to dry dropper. So it's super versatile in those situations. So I carry those two setups and they're both micro Euro leaders, okay? They're not necessarily the best to start out with because they're not super easy to cast. But over time, as you get better and better at casting, you will realize that these leaders are kind of elevated above those pre-packaged ones. And you know, I just want to say that this is like personal preference. I think you guys are going to have to do a little bit of exploring in Euro leaders to figure out what really works best for you and your situation. You know, my, my setup will probably be different in a year from now. It's continuing to evolve. This is a fairly new thing. But this is where I'm at right now, is those two micro Euro leaders for two different, three different, three, four different situations that I need them for. So yeah, that's my current setup. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie those right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I tie my uh, Euro leader that I use for dry dropper. This is a clear airflow line, Euro line, with a tiny, tiny little micro loop there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can, it's super tiny. I'm gonna show you how I tie my leader. For this, I use just about 20 inches of eight pound maxima for the butt section. And then I taper that down to five feet of three X with a blood knot. And then I attach seven feet of four X. And that totals out to about 13 feet. And then I tie the 4X directly to a tippet ring. And these are the two millimeter trout tippet rings that I like. Um, so I'll just start here. I'm gonna start with this eight pound. This is 0 0.012 or 0 0.010. Uh, I've already cut off a piece of that. So I have a about a 23 inch piece here. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. I use this for the butt section because I'm gonna tie this directly to that loop. And so I want a little bit heavier section connecting that just so that it doesn't cut through that loop. But I'm gonna take about five feet of three X. I'm just gonna pull that off. Just cut that. So I measured that and I cut it. So now I have about five feet of three X and I'm gonna attach that 
to my other um, eight pound butt section. I'm just gonna do a blood knot. in the knot, tighten it down. So now we have our eight pound to our three X. It's gonna come in and I clip these off as tight as possible. So now we have our three X attached to our butt section. Now we're gonna take seven feet of four X. Got seven feet measured out. Snip that off. Now we're gonna take our 4X and attach that to our 3X with another blood knot. Get those knots nice and wet. There we go. Trim off our tag ends here super flush up against the edge of that blood knot and that's important so that it'll slide through the guides. So now we have our 4X attached to our 3X. We're gonna go ahead and grab a tippet ring. Now, it is important that you tie on your tippet ring while it's still on the spool or on the, the swivel so that you can tighten it down real tight before you pull it off so that you don't lose all of them and that you can actually get that knot cinched down. I just use um, an improved clinch knot here. You could use a lot of different knots. So it's on there, see it's still on the swivel. I got that and I'm gonna tighten that down and now pull off that tippet ring close up the tippet rings and just slide them back into the package. So now we've got our tippet ring on there. Just need to come in and snip that off and we're done on that end. Now I'm gonna come back down to the butt section and tie that directly to the fly line. Just another clinch knot. Get that wet, moisten it, tighten it down and we are almost ready to fish. Put that down, snipped super tight like that. Come back down to the other end, and for this example, I'm just gonna add a little bit of 5X tippet. For the water that we are fishing, we only need about four feet. Cut off four feet of that tippet add it directly to the tippet ring there and another clinch knot and we are good to fish. So then I use, if I'm nymphing, I'll use this wax, the um, neon wax in this kind of red color I like and I'll just apply that wax directly to the leader above the tippet ring um, and that's kind of my whole leader okay the last leader that I want to show you guys is one that I use just for euro nymphing so this is just for nymphing and it's just 14 feet of 4x tippet that's the entire thing it's kind of gonna be pretty simple it's gonna be 14 feet to a tippet ring um, this is a euro line I've tied a micro loop that is like so tiny you probably can't even see it. If you aren't using these, you should be. I, this is the best connection I've found for straight Euro nymphing are these teeny tiny little loops that you can tie in your line. There's lots of videos, go check that out and do it. So just run you through this real quick. So I'm just gonna take 14 feet of tippet, cut it off, right? And then I'm just gonna take the end of that 14 feet and I'm gonna use just a regular clinch knot on the end of this fly line. And that's what's so great about this is it's micro. So 
it really cuts through the water and the wind and gives you the best strike detection possible, I think, that you can get. So just a clinch knot straight to the end of that fly line, which in my opinion is pretty awesome. It goes through the guides like there's nothing even attached. See that connection there is, let me move that, is pretty darn seamless. And I go all the way to the end of that 14 feet. And I take a tippet ring. And I attach that directly to it. Just like we did on the previous leader. So I'm just going to attach. If you guys can see that. Just going to attach a tippet ring to the end of my cider material. This is 4X cider material for the whole thing. Go through there twice. Regular clinch knot. Tighten that down real tight. Remove it from the spool. That away. And just like before, we're going to clip this off super close to that tippet ring. And then all you have to do is attach your tippet to the end of this and you've got a completely finished uh, nymphing leader that I have kind of simplified and this is kind of my go-to now. It's just 14 feet straight 4x cider material. Works like a charm. Man you guys I was I was really hoping to catch a fish for you guys in this video but I don't know if you can see this but that is just straight chocolate milk so what a bummer. Anyway that's the video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments and I will see you guys in the video again next Tuesday. In the meantime, go catch some fish. Thanks.